Hey guys, Barry here and welcome back to IGS and welcome to a first look at Fuse for Nintendo Switch. And a massive thank you to uh, Fuse and John from Fuse <laughs> for his exclusive early hands-on. Now this game is out this week on the Nintendo Switch out on the 30th, if I'm correct. At, uh, now for euro price it's 35 euro, I think it's $35 as well. And uh, yeah, so... Okay, I, I guess this came out a while back, well, different uh, devices like 3DS, I think if I'm correct, uh, it came out to Japan a while back, but it's funny out in Europe, you know, the Western world, so yes. So code editor, this is where the magic happens. The code editor allows you to type in and edit your own programs. Let's see what you can make. Oh, by the way, I have my uh, USB keyboard connected to my Switch dock. I have a wireless uh, keyboard. So, uh, yeah, if you hear typing, that's me typing. We suggest starting with the help section or loading the sample program from the program section and taking a look at the code. Once you've loaded the program, visit the code editor and press plus to run it. Fuse 4 Nintendo Switch includes thousands of game graphics and audio files for you to use in your projects. From here, you can browse media assets directly. You can also access them from the code editor by pressing the media key on this uh, on the on-screen keyboard or by pressing F2 on an external keyboard, which I have right now in front of me. In the code editor, your, uh, when your cursor is inside a media functions uh, parenthesis, is it? The media key will glow to let you know you can insert a media file. The program section stores all of your programs as well as the few sample programs. It's like a big filing cabinet. Big filing cabinet <laughs> for all your projects. Fuse 4 Nintendo Switch includes lots of sample programs. You can load up, play and edit yourself. The save edited versions of the sample programs, don't forget to copy them to my to the My Programs area first. In the Programs section, you can switch between Fuse sample projects and My Programs using L and R. Press the X will display options for the selected program. Project. The project section allows you to create a new project, delete your current project or edit your current project's name, author and description. It will also display your current project's thumbnail. Press sl uh, select, yeah it is select, while, well you know, minus, while your program is running uh, to set a new th uh, thumbnail. Friends, in the, in the friends section, you can browse all the programs shared by your Nintendo friends. You can share programs by visiting the program section and pressing X on the program you want to share. In the friends section, you can choose any of your friends and see what they have shared. Select a project to download it. In the friends section, you can switch between your friends list and my shared programs using L and R. The tools section containing tools contains tools that can help you create your own game content. You can draw your own graphics in the art editor and create your own maps in the map editor. When you create graphics or maps using tools, using the tools, uh, your creations will be assigned to your current project. In the Map Manager and Art Manager, you can edit your creations info, delete creations, your creations, and copy creations to other projects by pressing X on the selected item. In the Settings section, this is a lot of says, <laughs> you can customize the look and feel of the Fuse for Nintendo Switch interface. Set or change your startup app. Adjust volume and do a whole lot more. You can choose from a plethora of visual styles and color themes ranging from retro to modern. Special features can also be turned on and off here. For example, you can show a frames per second FPS counter along with memory and performance meters to help you tell if your program is running smoothly. So this is basically like your own application, your own way to make your own Switch game. What is not to like? Everyone should just buy this like. It's it actually maybe it gives it more of an in-depth look at the technology of the, the Switch, you know, and performance and, you know, etc. What you can do with it. Oh, before I read this part, you can just read on the description on the eShop. You can actually you know, change and do whatever with HD, Rumble, Joy-Cons, uh, Motion, etc. I think I'm correct. It's nuts. The help section is a great place to start for a complete overview of Fuse for Nintendo Switch. Complete the tutorials to advance your skills. Study the command reference for detailed explanations 
an example code for every function. For every function. Help can also be accessed from the code editor by pressing the help key on the on-screen keyboard or by pressing F1 on the on the external keyboard. Pressing the help key while the code editor cursor is within a function will help jump directly to that function's help page. Finally, <laughs> like it, let's give this a go. So we have new con, a new, new con, new project, Joy-Con test. As you can see on the right hand side, it's nuts. Four player Pong. Uh, 3D crazy shooter, like what? Where is Colin? Old school racing here. That's like, that is nuts. Cat racer. Invader. Like, holy crap. Let's do Joy Contest. Oh. Hold on. So, okay, you see how everything's running, the philosophy and stuff. So, I'm pressing the. Uh, So you see the ZL button there? See ZL? This will be 1 and back to 0. ZR, 1 and 0. You see all the everything happening for a reason? And when you move the uh, analog 6, the left one, you have the L, uh, you have the X axis and Y axis there. You know, even the orientation, the velocity and stuff. Like, even me moving the gyro, look at that move, that's just going nuts. That's cool. So just, just, uh, I'm typing stuff, as you can see. So, uh... So functions now exist. So if I'm correct, let's see, where are we, uh... Press the select button to go back here. So we have a uh, code. Let's go into. Settings here. Sound. Appearance here. Let's see. Oh, hold on, sorry, let's go back here. Preferences here, let's see. Guess that could be handy. The frames per section. So if you want to do like a, a comment, for example, let's go here. Oh shit. So we have space here. Should be a forward forward, is it? Yeah. So you could type in something like, hi there, as a message. So, so that part of the message, it doesn't actually run in the program. So let's give it a go here. Run. So there's a code here. A code here is a problem here. Uh, how do I, can we screenshot? We can do video, can we? Yes, we can. That's pretty cool. You 
Yeah, so John actually Silvera. Uh, give me the early hands on. Okay, so we we actually use the keyboard here. That's pretty cool. Well, let's see. So what's this here? What's time fantasy? Okay, so we have loads of graphics here. With the uh, well, that's cool. Most likely we can't, but maybe they'll update it. Well. Probably won't happen, or we can use our own graphics. Uh, friends here. I doubt anyone has it on my list. Friends list. Okay. Let's go straight back into it. Okay, there we go. Let's see, we have a uh, four player pong. So there, remember we seen with the uh, messages there? So the top one, that defines the screen size and vector uh, player variables used as an index into uh, other arrays. So our scores there are zero. Let's hide the keyboard. So uh, many lines of code is here. <laughs> yeah, so I've done a bit of code in college and uh, it's all gone out of my head to be honest. So like here as well we have our if statements and uh, end if there as well. That's the end of it. So looking for example here on line uh, 133, three, three there. If ball timer is less than 3, then ball timer plus or equals to 0 0.1, end if. So that increases the ball timer. Exit out of there. Let's go into the 3D crazy shooter now. I'm curious to see what the code is like for this here. Okay, so we have the model, so uh, let's enter. No, don't do that. I want to run it. No. Oh, so we can zoom in here, that's cool. Okay, so I have to use the uh, so look at the frames. You can see a uh, six here at the top. So look at the total memory. It's free. Exit out of there. Let's 
go to here where is Colin. So this looks to be uh Is it like a dungeon game? Oh that's interesting, I like that there. The door check locked, unlocked, open there. Hmm. Oh don't do that. Let's run. Huh, what the hell is that? It's being used to the analog, right analog stick to lock up and down. That's cool. Oh, we got killed. Nice. <laughs> so let's exit out that there. Now this looks cool. So. Actually, we can look at the uh, the code here on the right hand side using the analog stick, which is really handy. Let's go into it here. Let's actually, wow. <laughs> so look at the frame right there. So the frame rate is spot on. When we now look in here. You would think visually it looks uh, it looks pretty good. Yes, yeah, so they've only made so much of the game this uh, this level, but uh, no, it's really well done, I think. Okay, what else have we got? Programs. What is Gothic Venia? So it's very old school, as you can see. Any uh, enemies now? <laughs> All right. But yeah, let's go back. Of course, let's go into the, uh, the cat racer. <laughs> yes. So 
even there with the arrow, with the, the code in there. Let's see if I get it here. Will it make me faster? Or is it only telling me which way to go? Yeah, this is really cool. So look, look at the frame right there. It's not perfect because of uh, maybe the buildings, perhaps. But if we leave it go over here, it's spot on. Okay, so John actually made this one here. Uh, that's cool. Nice work, John. Programs here. Let's see what else have we got. Snooker? Oh, I don't think we can actually play it, but it's just a, a table. Which is, you know, with shapes and objects, like, but, uh... Right. I don't think so. Yeah, so the uh, target ball is used as a pointer for the camera. So some uh, clever souls need to add the ball physics. Huh, nice one. Yes, hello to my good friend Andrew, as well. <laughs> we were talking just before I recorded this, letting you know, like, uh, I, was, I got this game. But yeah, he's heard of it before. Let's see, Melody, uh, Map Collision Demo. Let's give it a go. So, like, we're not actually doing anything, but, uh, at least it's cool that the, the balls are bouncing against other objects, like. Cool. Okay, let's go to uh, tools here. Map editor. Hmm.
Okay. Let's go to the media part here and let's actually look and see what we have. Yeah, so this game also supports touchscreen, which is very handy. Broken vector here. Oh, cool. So if you wanted to use it for your uh, your racing game, huh? Let's check out this red one here. Oh, because we actually have a a full three uh, D model. So we can zoom in. Settings here, I want to change the uh, camera, can we? Okay, hold on. Can we access... a website here in this? I don't know. Like, I was telling Andrew about this, and... Uh, can this be used <laughs> to create, like, an emulator or something? That'd be cool. Like making the original like uh, Legend of Zelda or Mario or Pokemon even, you know. Album art general, that's cool. So looking here, uh, hmm. What happened to the screen? Wait, is it loading something? Wait, what happened there? Maybe I'm... So here we have a roguelike, you know, dungeons and dragons kind of thing. Let's give it a go. So we have our inventory here.
Okay, so we can use... What the hell? Okay, so we uh, we killed them, I think. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah, guys, there's like a, I guess a quick uh, a preview. Well, a quick preview. It's, it's been about thirty minutes, give or take, on the whole, on the whole thing here. But uh, yeah, I will make something soon and i will upload it but uh i don't want to do anything now because uh, you know messing up a bit embarrassing i can show you code after and uh let's go here quick very excited tutorials here so that's that's cool like, you know we have our loops there our variables if statement if statements if then loops here So we can actually copy the code here. So we copied this here, let's see. Let's create. Don't want this. Let's go to a new project. Let's call this Hello Nintendo. Oh. Hello, IGS. Uh, text sample on screen. So, how do I copy the, uh, you know, paste the There we go, let's see if that works. Huh, that's cool. So it saves there by itself. Uh, if we... We can change this. Do this. This should work. Uh, no. Oh. Yeah. Let's get rid of this line. I think we can change it to, no, don't do that, red, and we can, let's get rid of this, repeat, let's give it a go, no, it didn't work at all, <laughs> let's, uh, where's the delete here, okay, so that actually works. Let's get rid of this here. Ah, bloody keyboard. Can we, we should be able to do this. Uh, background. The tab is that we use here.
don't think it's gonna work, but uh Okay. Again, I haven't done the code in, in years, like, so. Uh, and we've only done kind of basic stuff when I was doing it. Text size, we'll change that to 70. Loop, we don't want to loop, we just want to, is it print? This work? No. So I guess to avoid the uh, that work. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, so let's do this here. Thank you, John, for the exclusive early payment type. Let's do this here. <laughs> And so on. Oh, it's probably because uh, the bracket, that's what it is. Oh, this is why. Uh, where are we? My bad. What are we doing? Damn keyboard. Yeah. There we go, that should work now. Yes, yeah, so if we get rid of that first, actually we just change the text size even. To 35. Yeah. <laughs> just get rid of this. Yeah. Yeah, so again, thanks to uh, Fuse for this exclusive early hands-on. This is a lot of fun, actually. It's been a while since I've done this. Let's that work better. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. You can of course check us out on YouTube, Twitter, and uh, Instagram, and for more Nintendo and Indies, keep right here at IGS. All right, guys. See you soon.